At Highland Hill Farm, one of our most popular plants is a plant called the viburnum. There are actually over 150, maybe 175 varieties of viburnums, so we can't possibly raise all of them, but we try to raise most of the popular ones that you would want for your landscape. Viburnums are real nice plants in that they can be used for a hedge, a single specimen, or they can be used to attract birds because they're very bird friendly. In prehistory, the long straight shoots of some arrowwood viburnums were used for arrow shafts, as those found with Utsi, the Iceman, found in the Alps. At Highland Hill Farm, we sell viburnums as seedlings, transplants. We also sell them in pots, and we dig them out of the field bald and burlapped. You can call us at 215-651-8329. This is a viburnum cutting that my dad did. And you can see it has real nice roots all up and down the whole stem where it was put underneath the ground. And we're just going to pot these guys up. He did this in the middle of the summertime. I don't know exactly when. But now it's the beginning of October. And we're just cleaning up a little bit. And now we're just going to repot them into its own little container. And each tree will have other one or two cuttings in each little container. And then we'll grow them out to be little bushes. Are viburnums easy to grow? Depends on what kinds. Some are difficult, like the tea. Some are easy, like the American cranberry. Each one is unique to its own, and there's a huge variety of them. Tell us about uh, grow, where they grow and how well they grow. Okay, uh, that is also <laughs> dependent on the plant. Most viburnums are fairly easy to grow. This is like arrowwood, double file, um, American cranberry. Those are all easy ones to go do. They can be put just about in every single location you can think of, except for maybe full shade and bog conditions. Uh, some of them are a little bit tedious, like uh, the Juddy or the, the Prague. Some of those are a little bit more site dependent where you need better soils. And uh, you can put them in there, but you'll see them languish for a little bit. Just Whatever kind that you decide to go after, just look them up, make sure you get the right ones that you want for it. I know some of them can be beautiful with very fragrant, large white flowers, but if it's not the right one for you, you should, should not plant it. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. And if you have any questions for Mike, you can call him at 215-651-8329.